Hey guys, welcome. We're here at SeaWorld San Diego. It's been a long time, a few years. We're gonna show you animals, we're gonna show you shows. We don't know what to expect. Let's go take a look. Yes, sir, that's John. We bought some more junk food. <laughs> my car for one single Alamar. I need more junk food. Gotta have junk food. Oh boy. So that was new uh, for SeaWorld. They've never had them before. I'm excited to see what else they have to offer for us. All right, right now we're in the front entrance. We're touching, they're over here like cleaning fish. I'm very nervous to touch these fish. All right, these are the cleaner fish. I'm uh, kind of nervous. Go! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How dirty is my hand? Oh my god. Okay, you know, you know. You know. Oh my god. Put your hand in deeper. Deeper. <laughs> now we have no idea where we're going. Uh, when was the last time we were here? Last time we were here seven years ago. It's a very long time. I have no idea where we're going. Bird. So I got some fish and they just told me watch out for the birds. I got you. Ready? One, two. Ah, I got it. <laughs> there he goes. Yay! Oh, I tried to fight. <laughs> Last one. Oh, I got it. Look it. It's ready. Toss it. There we go. There we go. You eat all our fish. So that was amazing. We haven't done that forever, like I mentioned before. Um, you get a discount if you buy the fishies for the, the seals. So they're nine dollars for four fishes, but you get a discount if you use. Uh, your past member. That is pin, pin, pin pits are seals. I did not know that. Sea lions and walruses, although adopted for a life at sea, pin pits come out onto land to rest or mate. That's a key one. That's a big key one. Walruses. So we're going to go into our first show, the sea lion and otter spotlight at 12. It is 11:32. Let's go check it out. Where are we going this way? So we heard that the show changed. It's not really uh, comedy anymore. Comic, comedy. It's more educational. Yeah, it's more educational than anything. Yeah, before it was just hilarious. From what I don't remember, we did recording, but we weren't really into recording for YouTube back then. We shall see. It does look nice here. What's this guy doing? <laughs> this. This. Oh. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
put your phones away yet because we are going to show off some of that world famous speed. So on your marks, get set, and go. Viva, cheer up. Lion and otter spotlight show was amazing i loved it i loved otter the otters the sea lions this was hilarious i can't wait to come back you gotta watch this show so we just ate at chicken shack very disappointing not a fan no discount very sad and they charged 75 bucks for a course or two sandwiches this was 13.99 all you get was a plain chicken sandwich I did a couple of pickles, but we took that out. And uh, was it waffle fries? Yeah. Not good. It's but it fell apart. This morning. And we got two meals of um, chicken, nuts, chicken nuggets and french fries. Those are kids' meals. No drink. $10.99 for each kid meal. Very disappointing. Yeah, at least Disney gives you a drink, but uh, we won't be coming back to Chicken Shack. We're gonna try some other places next time we come back. So we're gonna check out the otters. Hello, buddy. It's a real otter! Oh my God. <laughs> it is eating on his belly. Not on his belly. Hello. Hello, hello. What's he eating on? A fish? Probably? Yeah, it's a fish. An oyster, probably? Oh, there's another one. That was pretty difficult, but pretty cool. You like the otters, buddy? Yeah? He was, on, he was eating food on the water. Oh, there he is. Look at A bottom nose dolphin? Bottle nose. Bottle nose or bottom nose? Bottle nose. Oh my god. Bottle nose. Dolphin. 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> like you're doing like tricks on your hair. Oh man, I missed it. <laughs> oh, there's one. underwater viewing it was pretty amazing that wasn't there last time we were here i believe am i right or am i wrong what? was that orca underwater viewing here last time what seven years ago I don't, I don't believe i don't think so but that was pretty amazing i only got the vertical beginning but michelle got the no i got the horizontal michelle got the vertical viewing that was pretty cool right there and now on to the dolphin adventures now we're pretty up high we were over there, but we didn't know that was not a wheelchair's accessibility uh, entrance, so we had to come in the main entrance. That was a, a uphill battle, but we made it up here. There's also another entrance over here if you want to get closer to the wet zone, which Michelle did not want to. <laughs> so we're up here, nice view. You can see the whole show up here. I like. Why is there? Why is there a bridge right there? Do they jump off the the, the workers? It's weird, why would they have that? Well, it looks pretty cool. See some good action from up here. Now, the one thing I wish they had over here at these arena stadium shows they have over here at SeaWorld is a netting or some kind of shade because the sun is beaming on our face, unless you have a hat, which I do not, but no, it does. It's like hurting my eyes. What are you looking at, buddy? Hey there, there. Hey, over here. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. First up, we have Nothing our largest dolphin coming to say hello to all of you and wave back if she can see you. Say hi to Melanie! Melanie. We have a seven-year-old coming to give you all a little bit of a splash, so look to the glass and get ready because this is Sarasota. The show was awesome. It, it seems a little different from the last time we see, seen it, but it was seven years ago. But um, pretty amazing. The sun kind of bothered me. It was hard to see from that high. 
because of the sun, but it's still an amazing show. One thing I learned is the shows open 30 minutes prior, the doors open 30 minutes prior, and they do a 15 minute, they do a show, a mini show, 15 minutes prior to the main show. The more you know. I have to see some turtles. Hello. So the Turtle Aerial Reef was very claustrophobic. So many people, but huge, big turtles. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Okay, we just left the shark encounter. You gotta say, kind of boring. Very, very, extremely claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. It just, it's like a bottleneck. Didn't like it that much. Kind of boring. Next, we're about to enter the penguin encounter. Highly specialized birds for my hostile but beautiful environment. For a minute, I was like, where are you reading that? <laughs> it's on the sign. <laughs> is there summertime for them? Our summer is their winter. Our winter is their summer. Look at that big one. one. <laughs> a fat one. That's a big one. That one's Look at that big one. <laughs> he is so big. He is stealing all the food. So we're about to enter the wild arctic. Michelle's really excited about this one. They have beluga whales in here. We're gonna check them out. Oh, this is where they're gonna do an arctic rescue. Excited for that. And a whistle or bridge. One of our favorite and that is so that we uh, get them used to their daily routines. We are always, the trainers are here to check them out, make sure that nothing has changed overnight or during the day at all, uh, that they uh, are the healing. All of that is done by the trainers throughout the day. And also if we had to do any kind of medical work on them, that they will be desensitized and comfortable with our medical personnel. So the medical personnel do come over and uh, work with the whales as well. They'll work with any and all of the animals here at the sea. How old are these cans? So one thing I love about the SeaWorld app that Disney Universal will never is they actually have a directions on where they, how to get to the location you need to go. Let, let's say go to the map on the app and click on animals or uh, ride. You click on it, hit directions, it will give you directions how to get there from the location you're at. Which is pretty amazing because we haven't been here forever so we don't know 
where to go, or anything. I love that. I wish they implement that on the Disney on the Disneyland app or Universal app, which I don't think they would because they're kind of small. I think SeaWorld is bigger than uh, Disneyland and Universal Studios Hollywood, but that's pretty cool. No, hello. <laughs> Let's get a picture. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Let's get a picture. All right. Here we go. We love meeting you. See you next time. Bye. It looks different. What's today's date? What's today's date? 26th. Dang it. Missed it. Yesterday was the fireworks show. Oh, I forgot to mention SeaWorld Seven Seas Food Festival started in March 3rd. And it goes all the way to uh, April 31st. <laughs> no, April 30th, sorry. Do you think you know about the ocean? Let's find out. Let's play. I got this. I got this. How much of Earth's surface does the ocean cover? 70%. Three. 70%, buddy. Three. I am good. I am good. Oh, they're on camera. <laughs> Where are they? What the heck are they? Which ocean region is the largest? Um, two. Two? I say two. I say. <laughs> Now I gotta say, the seating over here at the Orcas uh, interaction show area, I'm not sure. It's a lot better because the heads, the heads are lower. Over there at the Dolphins uh, show, the heads were higher, it was hard to see sometimes, especially for Noah. Over here you can see a clear view. I like it over here better. The Orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic the southern, to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific, oh. and beyond. Yeah, what kind of Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. Just laying there. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Orcas are good communicators, so it's no surprise they're at the top of the ocean. <laughs> Killer whales work together to rear their young, protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal.
whales here at SeaWorld have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing to understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Osinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share. Right, that is it you guys here at SeaWorld San Diego we had an amazing time we saw some shows we saw some animals we got a, a beluga whale I had a great time very tired we had a very great time food was not that great but Michelle got to saw see her favorite animal a beluga whale I saw penguins it was a good day thank you for watching we'll see a lot more SeaWorld in our videos more to come in the summertime Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, hit that bell. That'll let you know our new video is up. And thank you for watching. We are the Dookie family. Bye.